Welcome to Van Black's YouTube channel. I'm Steve, the service technician for Van Black, and today I'm going to be showing you a brand new product right here on the table from Van Black. You can now get the Roguelide outer fairing color match to your bike. Now there are plenty of reasons out there why you would need to change your outer fairing. For example, maybe you have a scratch on there, maybe you dropped your bike, you wrecked your bike, whatever the case may be. The outer fairing is exactly like the OEM one and now we offer it through Advan Black. And now that we offer the outer fairing for the Roguelide, you can actually change the entire color of your bike. So maybe you bought a colored bike that you weren't super happy with, but you got a great price on a bike and you just want to change the color of it. Or maybe you're just getting tired of the color of your bike and you want something new. You can actually buy every single part for the Harley Touring model from Advan Black Color Match. So when you get it all, you can basically rebuild your whole entire bike and have a different color. So right now we're gonna walk the camera over to the bike and I'm gonna start taking the outer fairing off the bike. Then we'll bring it over here to the table and I'll show you how to transfer a few things from your old fairing to your new fairing and then get this reinstalled on your bike. Now the very first thing we need to do is get the windshield removed. Now mine has some serial turn signal covers over here but you would have a bolt here, a bolt here, and that is on the same side. With mine, having the covers, we'll have to take the outer cover off the serial light to get to the inner bolts. Once I pop this off, you'll see you have a screw here and a screw here. Now what we want to do is go ahead and loosen these screws. Yours may have Allen bolts in there. It may have Phillips heads in there. Just get in there and look and see what you have. Now once you get those bolts loose, you should be able to rock your windshield right out. And if you have center windshield trim, go ahead and pull that out. Now from there, you can go ahead and remove the screws. Now once you have those off, you can simply pull up on the center piece, take this out. Now right here on the side of your fairing where your blinker is, this wire runs on the inside of your fairing and comes out and they should have wires on both sides right here. Mine has aftermarket on it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and disconnect those. They're gonna look a little bit different than yours. Yours should just have a short wire from here over to the harness. Now from here we're going to take the bolt out of the side of the blinker. Whether or not you have an aftermarket or the OEM bullet, you're going to have a bolt right here. It's a 3 16 Allen. So we're going to remove that on both sides. Now normally if you're just removing the outer fairing to access the inside, you would only remove the bottom one. On this situation, we're going to be transferring these over to our new outer fairing. So we're going to go ahead and remove both screws. You got a bottom one here and you got a top one here. And it's going to be a Torx 20. You want to repeat that process on both sides of the bike. Now from here, we're going to reach down inside the fairing right here to the back side of the speaker cover. And you're going to pop the speaker cover out. Just like that. You'll see on the back side that there are two tabs that poke down in these holes. And this tab here just simply slides under it. So when you put it back on, it just simply slides in and then pushes down and locks in. You're gonna do that on both sides of the bike. Now at this point, the only thing left holding the outer fairing on are these bolts inside the speaker grill. You got one here and you got one on the other side. I like to go ahead and just loosen these, but do not take them out. We're gonna finish taking them out by hand when we're standing in front of the bike. Now at this point, we're ready to remove the outer fairing. So you wanna go ahead and protect your fender. Now, whether or not you have a fender bib, you can use a towel, blanket, anything like that. It's just when you're pulling this off, if you accidentally slip, you don't smash it into your fender. Now that we have those two bolts loose, what I'll do is just hold the front of the fairing. I'll reach around here and finish pulling these two bolts out. I'll just walk myself around this way. Now once those are removed, we can simply slide the outer fairing forward and walk it over to the soft table. Now there's a few things that we need to take off the OEM outer fairing and put onto our new outer fairing. And that is of course these clips right here. These are the nut clips that slip in. These just simply pop in. So you can take a flathead screwdriver, get under those and pop those out. If you look right here, you're gonna have a quarter inch Allen bolt right there. You're gonna go ahead and loosen that, holding the blinker on the outside. We're going to remove this bolt. It's a pretty short bolt, so it doesn't take a lot to get this out. 
Now generally the OEM outer fairings have a butterfly piece of tape that goes on here that holds this wire in. Now this one's been changed before, so we've just simply used the Tessa tape to hold it back on. The butterfly tapes tend to rip the first time that you take them off. You can salvage a couple of them, but usually you're gonna end up ripping a couple of them. So any kind of tape will hold it in there. You don't see it, electric tape, Gorilla tape, Tessa tape, whatever you wanna use. Now if we come back down here to the blinker, we've got this bolt out. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out. And then you're gonna pull this piece back towards you, just like this, because it clips in here in the back and out at the same time. Just like that, we're gonna pull our wire out from inside here. And like I said, mine's aftermarket blinkers, so you have a little bit extra stuff on here that we have to deal with. But yours to just have this little Molex connector on the end. And then you just simply pull the blinker out of the outer fairing, just like that. Now we're going to do just the opposite to put it back on. We're going to feed the wire back through the outer fairing for your blinker. We're going to take our blinker bracket we're going to feed it back through the hole. I'm going to go ahead and set it in place. Take our blinker, put it on. Pinching it together with our hand, we're going to go ahead and start this bolt. You want to make sure that this backside is clipped on and in place. We're going to do the same thing to the other side. So when you're taping your wire back up in here, you want your wire to come out over here in between your two windshield bolts. So basically right in that spot right there. So we're gonna take some of our Tessa tape. And we're gonna go ahead and put that in. And like I said, you can use whatever tape you wanna use. It doesn't have to be the uh, cloth Tessa tape. You can use electric tape, whatever you want. We're going to make sure this comes out over here between the windshield bolts, pull our slack in, add a piece of tape. So that way when you slide the outer fairing back on, your wires are right up top. I'm going to walk our outer fairing back over, slide it on. I'm going to take our speaker pod bolt and just by hand go ahead and get one side started and we'll get the other side started while we hold the fairing on. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and put our blinker bolts in. You can look down in there, line the fairing up with the hole, and go ahead and get that started. I do not tighten these down at this time. I don't wanna tighten anything down on the fairing until I have all of my bolts in. Gonna go ahead and put my wings back on, starting with the top one, because that one is a permanent one. The bottom one actually holds the fairing. Remember, if you're just taking the outer fairing off, you only have to remove the bottom one. But since we had to switch these over, we went ahead and took them out. So we've got the top one in. Now we're gonna set our bottom, which will connect the inner and the outer. Now we're gonna go ahead and reconnect our turn signals. Now from there, we'll go ahead and tighten up the bolts that are inside the fairing, the first two that we put in. It's gonna pull the entire fairing together. 
Now from here we can pop our speaker grills back in. We're going to slide the outer edge in to its little groove and then simply snap the other two into place in the hole. We're going to repeat that on the other side. From there we're going to take our fairing cap. We're going to slide it back into place. I'm going to go ahead and get our four windshield bolts started. Go ahead and get your windshield in, get your center trim piece if you have one. Now once you get your windshield bolts tightened up, you're going to go back down here to the bottom and we're going to finish tightening up our blinker bolts that we left loose just to make sure everything goes into place correctly. Going to do that on both sides. Now, since it's a brand new painted part shipped to you, ready to put on your bike, once you get it installed, take the time to get all the fingerprints and stuff off the bike and then get you a good coat of wax on there or whatever stuff that you use, whatever product you use to protect your paint. Go ahead and get that applied now. And that is it. You have a brand new color matched outer fairing from Mad Van Black. So that's it right there. Very, very easy install. Now, if you have a scratched fairing or something, any reason that you may have out there to order the outer fairing from us, you will get it color matched to match your bike. Check the website to make sure that we do your color. And like I said before, if you're looking to change the color of your entire bike, we offer every single piece on the road glide and the street glide from the outer fairing all the way to the rear fender. If you want to get your hands on one of these, we'll leave the link down in the description below. You can click on that and it'll take you over to the website. If you have any questions on this product whatsoever, leave in the comment section down below, or you can call the service tech line on the Advan Black website and talk to me Monday through Friday. I'll be glad to help you there. I'm going to get out of here and get myself back to work. I hope to see you in the next video, but until then, as always, be safe, keep your knees in the breeze.